Hello guys, welcome back for another mod review. Today I'm going to be reviewing another map. This is the Black Rock Valley version 3 by a guy named Stevie. Um, there's two different versions. There's an SSS version and there's a HSS version. SSS is standard system specs. If you're not running the best uh, graphics, graphics card and you have like a, a lower end system, you're probably going to want to run this. If you have an, an upper end system, you know, mid to high, use the uh, the HSS, which is, uh, it, the graphics are a little bit better. Uh, there's no extra cost. Both of these maps are uh, fairly this, the same. So, um, yeah. And if you, if you use one, stick with it. Don't switch back and forth because you'll have to get rid of all your save files and whatnot to, uh, or they'll... Uh, They'll conflict with each other. Okay, anyway, I was going to explain more. This is like my fourth take with this. Because I'm having some serious problems recording. I kept trying with the HSS, but I decided to go with this. We'll see how it goes. So here is the house. Okay, I'm going to move this. I got kind of things written down and stuff. Oh, you can collect 100 coins. Of course, you get 10 coins, and the other 90 will show up on the map. You get them all, and you get some goodies at the well. I'm pretty sure everybody's familiar with that. That plays the game. Okay. We got quite a bit of equipment. I think they give you two harvesters. Um, quite a bit of tractors and stuff. Uh, let, let's go through the equipment, actually. Because you have two farms for the most part and they split everything up you get all kinds of good stuff guys to start off but you're gonna need it trust me so you get all this stuff check it out oh wait a minute is this the shop yeah that's the shop I want my garage is that in my garage yeah I think yeah that is the garage this is all the stuff you get to start with Right here. I'm not going to go through each piece. Look, you get the scorpion and the buffalo to start. They uh, they kind of want you to focus on forestry at the beginning so you can make wood chips because a lot of the plants are steam powered and you know what you need to uh, heat the water. You need, wo you need uh, wood chips. So wood chips and water to make steam powered and that's how your factories are run. You got a pressure washer at your both burns. Uh, I think... Uh, or farms I mean um, I'm pretty sure there's silos at each set you don't have just the one set of silos to put your grain and stuff you have two and uh, what you put in one will appear in the other so that kinda I like that idea I'm pretty sure that's what they were trying to get at anyway but there's a lot added to this guys there is a uh, I'll go through it as we're going along because it's gonna take a little while I would think. Okay, let's go for drive. Hopefully my frame rates won't get too bad. Oh, let's uh let's take a look at the map here. We'll go through a couple of things right off the get-go. There's your all your fields and stuff. There's uh one of your farms here. Let's go to the next one. Is it this one? No. Back back. So yeah, you own these two fields, that field, that field, and this field. Pretty sure you own that one. That's green, I'm pretty sure. I can't, it's hard to tell. But anyway, that's this grass and that field. And uh, you'll notice you got a few other items that you can grow. Uh, sugar gum or whatever, oats. We have uh, sunflowers and soybean. There's a few other things besides that. You can grow cauliflower and uh, lettuce in the greenhouses and uh, basically it grows by itself you just have to fill the machines and it uh, it's automated and sells everything's automated you just gotta basically fill everything up for the machines to work and it's all automated so yeah there's your farm this is all your fattening farms here we'll take a look through that there's a lot of fattening stations in here here we'll go through this so you can see you got homogenized milk, lettuce, uh, washed potatoes, steamed potatoes. Yeah, there's a whole thing with that I'll, I'll explain. Pig forage, which you can sell. 
uh, seeds you can make your own seed that comes in handy for your greenhouses and stuff you make compost cauliflowers in your greenhouses you have there's the oats and the sour gum or sure gum or you have sunflower soybean bee pulp you'll uh, there's a factory in here where you fill it up with beets and if you make a product bee pulp that you can sell on the map uh, cherry and plum you have an orchard that grows these two things and you just basically have to supply the soil and the water and the fertilizer nutrients and then this will automatically go and uh, start producing it by itself and auto selling as the pallets get f filled you just got to be on top of it and make sure everything's filled up so you got pigs and lambs beef fat and cow sheep fat and chicken yeah there's lots of uh, fattening stations so let's go check out some more guys I'm not too sure what this is. I said that might be your mixing station for your seed to make your seed. I'm not. Yeah, this is a seed mine. That's exactly what it is. And let's see. I pull away from here because you probably won't be able to hear me. Uh, see, I got everything written down. The seed master. The seed master. I don't know where the hell it is. Now. Yeah, the seed master machine. Green in color. Yeah, that's it. Um, you have to fill it with wheat, barley, oats, and soybean. It makes seed number two, which is, uh, you, you can fill up your cedar and you can uh, use it at your greenhouses to for lettuce and uh, cauliflower. So that's that. Here's your color-coded silos over here. Now I can tell what these are. The red one from here I know is diesel fuel. I'm pretty sure the blue, uh, the blue one is fertilizer, the white one is water, and the green one is seed. Let's see if I'm right. Yes, I am. So I love the co color coordinated because you can just see it from a distance, right? And look at all these storing facilities for your grain and stuff, guys. It's all written in English, signs. It's all on conveyors, very f easy to fill up. Very easy. Here's some silos to store some grain. But you got your digital displays. You can. Uh, there's a place to put bales. There's your mixing machine machine for your forage, and apparently there's one on each farm, so that's excellent. You got two of those. Like nice. What do we got here? Uh, we have storage facilities for barley, wheat, grape, maize, oat, uh, sugar gum, soybeans, sunflower seeds. That just pretty much covers about everything. Um, like I said, you got the 100 coin challenge, so you can do that. You also have your job board over there. We just came from the house. That's your house up there. It says you have uh, chicken. The chicken coops are by your house. There they are. And uh, it auto collect. There's an auto collect by the house, apparently. I'll have to look at that another time, but that's what it says. There's an auto auto collect for your eggs, which can be sold by the dozen. I'm pretty sure, or maybe individually. I'm not sure. We got some more storage up here. Um, not too sure about the soil stuff, guys. I'm going to have to look into that. Like, you'll see all these little herbicide barrels. And for, uh, this is like a, a soil. Ah, uh, jeez, I forget. I wrote it down. But I'm going to have to look into this. I, I can't really go into too much detail there because I'm not really sure myself. <coughs> here, we got some more storage over here. Get a lift in there, a little garage kind of thing. And get a poop mixer. Okay, where are we off to now? Get a tank over in the corner there. Uh, let's go over to the fattening stations. <coughs> Excuse me. And we've got quite a few fattening stations here. I'm going to go in one. There's a we got a slurry uh, tank, which we may have to get rid of because I told you I'm going to show you this too. Remember I said in that readme part there will be a link for 
a mod and it's for this right here the universal tanks and what that is it's a whole slew of different tanks but they're multi-purpose you can use these for everything guys and you got every size under the sun here so and then you got this big bad boy back here that holds a uh, hundred thousand liters so that's nice so yeah you'll want to download this and the link is there the only thing additional guys you'll have to get is a transport for your fattened animals once you sell them at the uh, for selling them at the butcher this doesn't come with that but all the details are in the readme part I really highly suggest that you go just jump through it at the very least there's your fattening stations the doors open really quick I like that I like that that's definitely a, a treat when you uh, when you drive as fast as me. Yeah, some of these signs aren't in English. Oh, there's a coin. Give me, give me, give me, give me, give me, give me. Give me. I'll take that coin, sir. Two. Ninety-eight to go. Yeah, some of these aren't in English. I, I'm, I suppose you'll just remember what they are after a while. But Here's your uh, where you'll have to put the water and stuff, guys, in your feed. If you're going to feed them forage, you'll have to bring it in and fill up the trough directly, as well as put hay on the floor for them to uh, to sleep and to start producing manure, which you can see you can pick up here with a treadmill. A treadmill. I keep saying a treadmill. A. Uh, Okay, some of these doors are not going to automatically open for you. Uh, you'll have to press O. Not a big deal. I said O. Are you not going to work for me or what? Oh, there we go. See a little symbol in the corner pops up. So Here's your chicken, chicken fattening. Here are the little bastards. <laughs> Excuse my language. Are you going to open or what? Yeah, let's go. You can close behind me. Oh, I tried pressing the right button. I didn't close the other one either. Alright, onward. Let's go through here. And yeah, same thing with the, the cows and stuff. You can see the water there and the place where you're going. You got to fill a lot, right? Keep them happy, they'll keep you happy with the product. Press O to open these gates. It says in there, guys, it's a good idea to remember to close the gates behind you because when you hire workers, they'll get caught up on it. So try to keep that in mind. Where are we going to go first? Let's go over to the east mill. Go right around the sucker. Big old map, guys. Look at all these fields. Say, look. You basically have 22 fields that are huge. Oh, it's taking me forever just to get across this one field here. Actually, we'll start at the BRB compost. Oh, um, we stuck in here? No, there's a gate right here. Yeah, you'll notice there's a lot of fenced in areas. But that's good in a way. It's good in a way. I think some of these you can drive through, actually. I think for the first little bit you can drive through them. I don't know, I was kind of reading something about that. I'll leave that go. Okay, we got some more storage for vehicles here, so... We have coverage for these fields. Okay, that looks like a processing plant over there. I'm just gonna... I'm not gonna bother driving in there. That may be for potatoes, I'm not sure. We'll drive through there because we have to go up through that way anyway. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, and there's nice forestry areas, guys. I'm not going to be able to go through everything. But let's see what this is. Black Rock Valley composting. Okay, this is where you're going to want to do your composting. And the, you'll need compost for everything. Everything you grow, you'll need compost for. So let's see, what does it say about the comp composting stations, if anything, might not say anything, <sighs> no, I wanted to go to the uh, greenhouses and show you guys that, no it doesn't say too much about the composting, 
and uh, the milk will auto sell guys and I have to show you that actually actually I'm lying because you do it comes with another mod but you're you have a choice whether to use this or not you don't have to and it's not a it's not a big deal but your milk will auto sell at midnight every night so you don't have to really worry about it unless you if but if you want to sell it and fill up your tanker and go deliver it you'll have to put this down and this stops milk sales so you can but your tank once it fills up it'll you know it's up to you to sell it so if you want to go through the steps of selling it yourself you're going to have to lay this down and this is included in the package so you don't have to worry about getting this mod separate get that out of the way so guys i'm sorry i just have to find that i want to see if it said anything about that I just, I don't want to miss anything. I'm going to see. Soil management shed. No, that's not it. That's the one I told you that I wasn't too sure about. That I, that kept mi mixing me up. But no, I think that's probably it. We'll find the pig farm. Mixing station. There's two trains, guys. There's one in the northeast station. Uh, oh. Man. Wrong buttons. Okay, you can see up in the northeast corner there, the train yard. That train northeast is the grain yard. That's the grain train. And the wood train is just off the main road on the west boundary. So the western boundary uh, must be BRB composting. That's what I was looking for. I thought I wrote down something about that. But anyway, I'm gonna push on. You'll be you'll you guys will be able to fill that figure that out what you have to put in there. I'm not sure if it's the potatoes you have to put in there or not. But anyhow, let's get out of here. My frames die. Computer's kind of flaking out. I was hoping that it would be a little better since I didn't go with the HSS. But anyway, onward, as long as it runs. You can see the little uh, icons with the uh, lettuce on the map, guys. That's where you can sell that stuff. You can sell potatoes there, too, your steamed potatoes. Yes, you'll have to steam potatoes. There's a factory where you steam potatoes, actually, and uh, you'll have to uh, shoot, supply it with potatoes and wash potatoes, actually, and there's even a plant for that. You supply one plant, the wash potato plant, you supply with water and potatoes, obviously. And then the, uh, the steam potatoes, you'll have to supply water and uh, fuel for the furnace to cook it. And, yeah, you get the gist. Okay, what do we have here? This is, what am I at? East Mill. Okay, that's not important. That's just a selling spot. But... Very nice detail in this map too, guys. Oh, I'm very impressed. And what you're seeing here isn't even the uh, good version. This is the lower specs. I'm pretty sure that's your dairy, guys. So this is kind of where you're going to have to sell your, your dairy. Don't you get it? Pretty sure about that one. There's another potential customer. Is that a... Yeah, that may be... Uh, it may be a place where you sell uh, wood chips. Okay, I'm up on the train yard here. And we said this was for grain, I'm pretty sure. It's two trains, yes. Grain yard. And you can sell your send your train off. If you can, any other ones for the added little bonus. Oh, jeez, we got two. We got two bunkers here for it. That's pretty crazy. Oh, that's, uh, yeah, that's two different spots. One's for selling. Um, we're filling the train, I mean. Okay, let's keep moving in that direction. Very nice, very nice. Got a big old parking lot here. We park a big old fleet in here. Look at this big old empty parking lot. It's kind of silly. Oh well. Um, 
this is your where you take your beets to uh, make the beet pulp juice. What I was talking about earlier. This is your. Uh, look, you have storage. I'm pretty sure, guys, when you store things in these, you can pull it, like basically put it in here and take it out at the other farm. Like you, it's just another place to access it. Pretty sure that's what they meant by that. What's this sign say now? This is perfect produce too. Yeah, here's our greenhouses, guys. Now it says you can just be spending plenty of time here because, uh... Oh, they, they said that these things were hard to locate. That looks doesn't look... You have to put diesel and water and fertilizer and everything. So you'll have to... They said some of them are kind of tricky. You'll have to look for the, uh... The valves. And here's your, your basic stuff here. What did it say about that? Just kind of... Okay. Water in the blue tank. You know all that stuff. Solid factory north. That's what the PP2U is. Yeah, diesel in the generator. So the greenhouses, you'll have to uh, put water in the tank, fertilizer in the white tank, water in the blue tank, diesel in the in the generator. You'll have to put the seeds in the wooden bin, and then it'll start producing after a while. seed use wheat barley and c2 yeah and uh they'll auto sell like i told you before so you have to fill up all these units and then this will just start producing by itself as long as you put all in um what you're supposed to it'll auto sell and we have a big old big parking lot again yeah so it's all potatoes at those uh Lettuce symbols. Open sesame. All the gates seem to work great. And the ones that don't, you just press O and it works. Okay, let's jump over to the hunger boat by. Okay, is this our field? Yeah, we got some stuff going here. Wheat or barley? I think it's wheat. That would be my guess. Yeah, we have a potential customer here. hungry bulk buy. Let's go to the meat. Okay, here's our meat plant. Right past it. Right over here you sell. This is where you're going to take your uh, your fattened animals, guys, when it's time and sell them. Nice little uh, community here. It'll look nice at night when those uh, street lights, the lamps light up. Sweet, sweet, sweet. What's over here? Let's go over here for a moment. Oh, I'm just trying to think what that big gray thing is there. Is that just a big parking lot? Yeah. It's just a big old parking lot. I don't think there's too much over there. Doing some road work. Okay, let's not go over that way. Let's, uh... the river again. Water doesn't look too bad, guys. Like, you get the reflection anyway. It's just not uh, the best. But it's doable. Let's, uh, can we cut through this way? Or is that going to be dangerous or what? Let's keep going up this way. There's no hurry. This is going to be a longer. All my uh, map videos... My map mod videos are pretty long because I like to uh, show you guys around before you go through the through the BS of downloading it. And I don't know. This is like my fourth take of this, so I keep getting mixed up of what I said and what I didn't say. But I, it took me an hour between an hour and twenty minutes and an hour and a half to download this file. So don't be surprised if it takes a while. And that's uh, I got a fairly decent computer anyway. You can close again. Uh, yeah, I want to keep going down that road. Wait a minute, where are we at here? I want to go down that road, actually. Go up there, is that the road? Yeah. Okay. This thing is just snake around. Like, 
you'll notice there's a lot of curvy, twisty roads around here too, but it's cool because it's very, uh, I know where they get the, uh, the cliff part, or the mountain part. What's this map called again? Jesus. It's a terrible memory. Black Rock. Black Rock. I'm gonna have to start writing these down. Well, what ones I'm reviewing and stuff. Oh wow, we're already here. We want to go south. We won't go to the sawmill, guys. I think we can pretty much picture what that's gonna look like. This is back at the farm where we started. I'm gonna take you over. I'm gonna cut over towards the garden center here. Yeah, that way. Pretty big map too. Lots of detail. Love it. Love it. Love it. Lots of lakes and stuff on this map. Lots of forested areas. I'll, I'll take a jump around and show you the. Look at this. Looks like a camping spot. You can sell eggs there. Nice, nice, very nice. I like stuff like that. It's the little stuff that makes it pop. Lots of little stuff. Like this is more impressive than the Sesnovka map. Falls a lot bigger too, but uh, okay. I want to go over to the uh, orchard there. Show you guys that. Where's this? Is the shop? I might as well stop in here first. We're gonna make it up there, son. Oh yeah, you're driving New Holland, man. No problem. Oh, I see coins. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme. Give There's your garden center. Your typical garden center. You can sell your uh, compost here and your and hay, straw. Um, what did I say? Uh, 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 manure. That's manure. But I know you can sell the soil here too. Is it set? Is it set? Is it set? What's up here? We're gonna have to take a look up there. That might be your. Uh, well, what's the sign say? Timber merchants. Yes. This is a, a sawmill. Sawmill. Alright, so you know where the sawmill is now. We have some more storage over here. Looks like we got a cell point. They say like they put a lot of cell points at the main places so you don't have to really worry about adding mods. You gotta watch when adding mods to this map, guys, because apparently it's pretty picky. But he pretty much tries to uh, include everything you're gonna need anyway. But it's not to say they won't work. It's just that it might cause a uh, it might cause your system to crash if you're not careful. You just have to uh, figure it out. He tells you ways to get around it. I'm not, I'm not really uh, down with that. I get confused, so <laughs> I keep it simple, man. Keep it simple in my books. Okay, let's keep going south here. Seeing all that, we're not gonna go over to the diner. We know what a diner looks like. Seen, seen them a thousand times, son. On the bridge there, guys. Going over to the shop. To where they sell the vehicles. I'm gonna just keep following this, I suppose. Yeah, there's so much to see, eh, hey guys? Look at this. Gas station tucked in here. We saw twisty roads and stuff. Street lamps everywhere, bridges. Love it. Very, very nice detail in this map. I know I seem to say that a lot, but for real. What do we got here? There's your. Oh, this is BGA. Okay, you know what this is all about. You got your four basic bunkers. Look at this, guys. You gotta like how they put that right in the floor. You don't have to worry about that shit. Look, you got vehicle storage here. You can uh, shave. You can store shave here. Good for extra. That's nice. I like that. Okay, there you go. So they just they make it so convenient for you. I love it. I love it. 
there. What are we headed to? Let's head down. We'll go to the sheep zone shortly. I'm just gonna keep going over here. I don't think there's too much to see at the sheep zone. It's your typical, uh, if anybody did the sheep herd, you know, it's pretty much the same. Pretty much the same. I'll jump around and show you the vehicles and stuff. And for, uh, okay, what's up here? Is it even showing up? Oh, yes, it is showing up on the map. I like when there's more than, like, a, just a couple of places to sell your product. See, here's more storage, I think. Like, look at that. What a perfect place for storage if that's... Oh, more vehicle parking here. You can sell your straw. Here's what you get. These tanks here, guys, are basically your uh, your seed and fertilizer. They switched it from the pallet to uh, the green tanks. But it looks nice. I like that. Let's... Uh, where am I at? I keep losing myself on the map there. What is... This must be, like, a forestry. Can I get across there? No. Of course not. Let's go over here and we can cross, though. So we're probably going to run into my uh, scorpion and buffalo over here. Yeah, nice, nice map. Nice map. I think we'll go down here. There's a whole section up there to the left. We'll just go right up that road. Oh, yeah, that's it. Run into trees. That's an island, okay. You know there's a coin on that island. That's cool, I like that. Am um, I gonna drive up there? I'm oh, gonna keep driving straight. See, that's all forested area up there. I'll, I'll take a quick little loop through. Let's take a little look through. Don't go too far. That just keeps going up and up and up and up, right up to the top corner of the map. Awesome. Love it. Let's go, let's go over here. Love it, love it, love it. Well, I'm glad I'm getting much better frame rates. This thing crashed out on me. This is like literally the fourth time I tried to record this episode. And then I get mixed up what I said and didn't say. <laughs> uh, that's cool. To sell logs, sell your, uh, your logs. Yeah, this is probably where the scorpion is. Yes, sir. Diesel fuel here in the red tank. This is another factory. So yeah, there's your, uh, your wood cutting devices, your forestry leveling. Uh, okay, let's go over to the cow zone. Seems like I'm seeing Calzone, CG. Nah, don't mind me. Can we get through here? But you say we can, yes. Okay, let's cut across here. Big few sawmill. Wow, there's a lot of sawmills, eh? The two uh, left-hand corners are sawmills. And look, there's a central sawmill too, like kind of in the middle there. Yeah, a lot of sawmills, two train stations. So we have two firms. The one we're going to now is the second one. Not the cow zone, but the, uh, the bottom right hand corner there. That's where we'll end up. Let's take a look at the cow zone. Okay, you know, this is all your milking and more storage. Look at all the storage, guys. Everything got a, everything got a, a uh, conveyor belt, too. So you get it like that. Another mixing station. You get two of those guys. Wow. Okay, here's your milk pickup, I take it. Okay, milk, yeah, collection. You got your poop collection. Oh, it's so nice when you don't have to use the top loader. It's nice to use a front loader, but I don't want to have to use it for everything. I love the way that wood looks. It 
green wood. I love it. I love it. Oh, are you gonna open? Yeah, I'm gonna have to make you open. Okay. Okay. Well, <laughs> now close. See what I mean? Like the uh, the hit detection will start working after a while. I think the first time or I think it says it doesn't work. But okay. Oh, I'm stuck in here. Cows running away now. Oh yes. Man, I like that green wood, man. It looks like it was just built. That, that finish they kind of put on wood. Okay, we got more. Uh, oh, we got some lag. Another place to sell bales or store them. I'm not too sure how that works. Okay, let's keep going. Oh, we... oh don't fail me now. We we're doing so well. Another house here. This is my second house for when I feel like coming up to this end of the map. <laughs> okay, let's drive around here. Yeah, I should start to get a little, a little laggy. That's all right. Across the river. I'm pretty much done now. I just want to show you that bottom. Yeah, like I said, guys, if you're downloading this, prepare to wait a little while, but it's definitely worth it, and uh, go through the README section. Make sure you jump through that, or, you, you know, it'll explain it in there. There shouldn't be too many questions after you read that, because after I went through it a couple of times, I pretty much understood it, but there's still the odd thing here and there, which I'm sure on the forums I could figure out what the hell it means. you this part of the farm and then oh, you get another silage pit here you do have uh two harvesting like a beet wagon and a, a beet harvester and a potato harvester get some more storage here guys there's all the rest of your new holland stuff yeah this is the other end of the farm get more vehicle storage in there nice i like that i like that something in there that might be for making more seed sorry for the frame rates guys I just seen it in the blue it's getting along great but if it cuts out all of a sudden you'll know why what's this blue tank here Okay, this is your cleaning stations, that's right. And each farm has a sprayer already there for you. And I like that. So there you go, guys. Did I show you everything? I think that's it for the most part, except for the sheep zone. I'd like to take you over there if it allows me to. Look at that. We we'll have to get harvested and that. So I was thinking uh, about doing a playthrough of this map. If I don't have recording problems, like... I'm telling you, when I don't record it, it runs perfectly. Aw, oh, man, I didn't show you the goddamn orchards. Shit. Totally missed that. Where am I at? Okay, I'm sorry. So you can see how immense the map is. Like, how long it's taking me to get across. I guess going at 20 frames a second isn't helping much either. Here we go. It's over straight now. drive by the sheep zone ever so slightly and then we'll go I'll take you back up to there. So I kinda wanted to show you the orchard. And that's another thing, like yeah, it, it sounds confusing but these places are self working. You just have to basically supply the water, the soil, the fertilizer, the diesel for the machines, you know? And then it, it's all automated. And it sells by itself too, so Special little 
everybody knows what the shock looks like. It's pretty pretty standard on every map for the most part. Slow down, Sunny Jim. I'll have to go across the bridge, I suppose. Yeah, believe me, guys, it's not this choppy when I'm not recording. It's really smooth. I get 60 frames, no problem. Just that I'm recording, so it's labored right now, but I'm almost done the review anyway. I just wanted to show you guys the last little bits so you can determine if you want to get this map yourself or not. And there's lots of work to be done on this farm, my god. This would be a really good multiplayer map too, if you can get a good server going. Absolutely. Okay, here we go. Here's our little orchard. You can see your berry trees there. So yeah, here you are. Uh, you can see the pallets like... Let me jump out of this so you can hear me a little better. Yeah, once you uh, fill up everything, like the water, the fertilizer, the poop, the, the... Everything. It'll start doing this all automated. And your pallets will start appearing on here. And as it the pallet builds up, it'll... Put, the next pallet will appear and push that one ahead a little bit then that one will fill up and push that pallet ahead a bit and when it hits this part here it'll start selling so it's all automated you don't have to worry about any of that stuff so I really like that all you have to do is fill the machines and it's basically free money it just keeps rolling in you just gotta be on top of it as far as uh, filling up these machines and whatnot so is there anything else I haven't showed you? I don't think so guys. I think that's broke the run a bit. Let me take a little look at my thing. Yeah, you know there's uh, potato steaming in that in that salad factory. Yes. And like I said, I, I know I said it about a hundred thousand times, but um read read the read me part and you'll uh, you'll understand that and it will help you out big time but yeah I definitely give this map a big thumbs up guys check it out if you want it's gonna take a while to download so don't say I didn't warn you <laughs> but uh, nice map uh, yeah I, I praise the guy that uh, made this he definitely took his time and did a really good job so there you have it guys uh, I will see you in the next one take care